it's impossible to resist Just sit back and enjoy the view Out with the old, in with the new Look forward, there's no looking back Gotta be on the right track You ain't seen nothing like this 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 You ain't seen nothing You ain't seen nothing You ain't seen nothing like this This week, Buck Bribe owner Nathaniel Barrett is hunting with us at our home farm here at the Lodge. We've seen next level food plot results with their products. Now Nathaniel is in pursuit of next level hunting results. Rip one into him. Just so you know, the camera is behind you. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the pressure, to. right? This yeah. is the same. This is. I've like never been nervous shooting my bow before. Well, here's what it simulates: a world-class Wisconsin Buffalo County deer coming oh. down to your blind. Clear your mind <laughs> and just level down on it, right? Yep. Money. That's a good shot. Really are just piling out everywhere. We decided to step out here and do a little glassing. And everywhere you look up here in these food plots, we've got deer coming in, coming out of the trees. But the way these food plots are designed, they pull these deer out right at the perfect time of day. We still got plenty of shooting light. We're seeing lots of action and really let their guard down and go to eat very quickly. This is perfect design to bring them in, get them comfortable and keep them visible. Couple good shooters down here in the bottom moving around and about a dozen does scattered on the side of the hill here getting chased around. So where we're standing right now, we'll actually be hunting all this area the next few days. So I guess there's only one thing to do at this point is get a belly full of food, full night's sleep and get ready to go. Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Homegrown. We're really excited to have you here. It's time to have some dinner and go hunting. So I think everyone here is super excited about both those things. I probably put them in the wrong order. My name's Chris, and I'm gonna be your chef for the week. And uh, tonight's our opening dinner where we welcome everyone in from your travels and from where you're coming from, and make sure you got a nice full stomach and a nice uh, rest tonight so you can get in those blinds and hit your dream out there. This week we're gonna have a lot of fun. I have a great menu planned for you. Um, All right, without further ado, we'll enjoy dinner and thanks for being here. We take pride in the designs on all of our farms, but anytime someone hunts our home farm, the lodge, is just a little extra special. It's one of our first Buffalo County designs and it's provided payoff time and time again. This property sets up awesome. There's a huge valley that acts as the core of this farm with two bluffs that run parallel to the valley and actually wrap around and connect to the south of this valley. Now initially, this entire valley was in production. It was all standing corn with no food plots or structure to it. So when we acquired it, we knew we wanted to take this valley out of production and introduce new strategies and new concepts to it, all while keeping the deer huntable and being able to access our hunting spots effectively. not only crucial for us to be over a good food source, but a good watering source. So this spot creates that perfect combination. Big buck, big buck. Mo 
Above the Grind Consulting specializes in designing and building world-class hunting properties. From concept to creation, every detail is finely tuned into a strategy to transform your property into something incredible. Our innovative concepts will not only help you to grow and hold big bucks, but also ensure that you are able to hunt them effectively. If you want to turn your farm into a world-class hunting property and increase its value, give us a call today. We designed a big 15-acre food plot that winds through the valley and surrounded it with habitat. The habitat consists of 3,000 cedar and spruce trees overseeded with switchgrass. In the center of the valley is a spot that we call the petting zoo. It's a big centralized social area that pretty much every deer in the valley travels through at some point. On the complete other side of the valley, we actually carved out a new food plot in the timber about two acres in size. This plot is called the limbo plot and it actually got its name because a tree actually fell down onto the little island of trees where we had planned on putting our redneck blind. We actually had two big bedding points that sat right above it. It was a west facing ridge so we knew that this part of the valley would get darker or shaded earlier and those big mature bucks would be on this side of the valley sooner. Another cool spot on this farm is the ridge top right above the lodge. We've got a water hole up on the ridge where everything connects. All of the hard work and designing that we put into the valley benefits this spot as it sits right above it. We do some pretty unique stuff here on our farms and we're gonna to continue to do so until it doesn't work. We brought the crew in from Buck Bribe to bring our tonnage to another level with their Ground Zero Liquid Calcium product. Bringing it home strong with the Homegrown Outfitters Home Lodge. When it comes to Buffalo County and really the Love the Grind crew, they work with a huge variety of different crops. As you can see, we're standing in about waist-high soybeans, which makes excellent browse cover for the early season. And now where the ground zero comes into play with this is you have your liquid calcium that's gonna really transfer the nutrients into the root system. Overall height, browse coverage, tonnage, and root system, we have some really good soybean plants out here from the ground zero liquid calcium treatments. We actually introduced big sexy walking strips throughout the valley that helped dictate where the deer traveled and how they got from you know, one end of the big plot to the other and how we got them within bow range of some of these blinds. The soybeans were waist high, the big sexy brassicas were about softball size, and the illicit radishes were dang near football size in some places. Like a vase of flowers. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> For Nathaniel's hunt, we've got several good bucks using this valley that we've videotaped, we've got trail cam pictures of, and really have been around on these food plots all summer and fall. So what was rewarding about this hunt was Nathaniel, owner of Buck Bribe, was able to take in a hunt and reap the reward of his hard work. All right, you guys, a little bit slow for us this morning. We saw a little bit of movement. So where we're sitting right here, we're kind of down in a bowl. We've got ridges around us come down into these soybean food plots that then flow into the turnips and the radishes and comes right down here into the base. Where we've got watering hole, which is perfect for this real warm weather. It's not only crucial for us to be over a good food source, but a good watering source. So this spot creates that perfect combination. Here comes a deer. He's right in front of us. We've moved spots, so we're down here this afternoon, ready for our evening hunt. 
on one of the food plots that Homegrown Outfitters has put together down here. This food plot is designed specifically to draw in deer. Between the design and then the nutrients that these food plots offer to the animal, it creates the optimum hunting environment. It gives the animal the best source of nutrition year round. So they're cultivating fantastic bugs. It's creating really, really great deer. The products have really good sources of calcium and magnesium and iron, which all lead to everything that we're out here for, which is really good, full racks, healthy deer. On the way in here, we're looking at these food plots and, and you can just really see what this bug bribe has, has done to this. The size of these things is ridiculous. Not to mention, they don't taste too bad either. I can see why the deer like them. you guys we're out here day two right above all those food plots we've been hunting big buck big buck here at buck bribe our products are based off of nearly 50 years of research and development buck bribes fertilizers are designed with primary nutrients micronutrients and minerals to ensure that your buck is getting exactly what it needs to grow to its full potential Buck Bribes liquid calcium and liquid fertilizer products are perfect for whether you're applying out of a backpack, ATV or UTV sprayer, a pool behind tractor. They deliver an ease of access in a liquid form, ensuring that those deer are gonna be on that plot all the way from spring through winter for when it's time to take that shot. At Weiss Realty, we specialize in land and rural properties. We're locally owned, locally operated. We specialize in anything country, including hunting land, farmland, hobby farms, rural build sites, and waterfront properties. We deal with everything from five acre woodlots up to thousand acre farms. We've been here since 1979. We're very familiar with all the processes involved with land and rural property sales. We love what we do, and we look forward to working with you to buy or sell in Wisconsin or Minnesota. All right, you guys, we are out here. This food plot last night was bringing in crazy amounts of deer. We saw 30 plus does just littering this field. So it's just a matter of time before we start seeing some good bucks joining the party over here. Ready to go. We're in here nice and early. It's very, very warm outside. So we got a little time to wait, let things cool off. Got a good breeze, good wind. Should be a good evening. and the turnout you get, it's irresistible. I even had to have a bite. So 
you know it's gotta be good. All right, you guys, we are out here. Day two, a little bit colder this morning. Really nice, crisp, cold air. We've moved spots once again. We're sitting up here on top of the ridge, right above all those food plots we've been hunting. So essentially, we're just changing strategy slightly. We're still hunting off the food plots, but we've gotten into the timberline. What we're doing this morning is we're catching the deer that are coming off the plots after eating all night long. We've got trails coming up from all the food plots right up into these bedding areas over here. We've got a water source right behind me here. We should be in a really good spot to see some good movement today. Big buck, big buck. Sit there, sit there. Hey everyone, we're out here grinding every day, turning these properties into world-class whitetail farms. Be sure to follow us on social media, subscribe on YouTube to keep up with what we're doing, and learn how to take your property to the next level. Do you want more exciting and educational hunting content? Then head over to the Love the Grind YouTube page, where you'll find new innovative tips and tactics to up your hunting game, and learn how to take your hunting property to the next level. Watch the process. Watch the results. Subscribe to our channel for free and interact with the experts. We're here to help you love the grind. All right, you guys, it's about three o'clock right now. Been doing it all day since. Sun's starting to get pretty low. We've had a buck bedded next to us for the past few hours. Just that small 10 pointer we saw walk in earlier. It's just hanging out about 100, 120 yards away over there. We uh, get ready for the scene box and toes getting out of their bedding from the day. Getting up, moving around, getting a drink of water, headed out to get some food for the night.
We smoked him, man. That is a dead log. He's, he's like 50 yards down the hill. He's right here. Whew, last morning, we're freezing our butts off out here. I'm shaking out of excitement because I can't feel my toes. Of all the action we've seen all week, this morning, it's been absolutely dead. But for whatever reason, that's when you know the big boys are coming. We got them. All the work that home girl has put into putting these food plots in, all the hours, days of sitting in the tree stand, everything is just a master equation for killing bucks like that right there. That's a good buck right there. So what a cool, mature buck for Nathaniel. It's a well-known buck here at the lodge. And what's even more special about this for us is seeing the design, the strategies, and all of the work pay off for both us and Nathaniel. We got it done. Got us big old bruiser. Killed him right up on this ridge, right above these food plots. And this is just a testament right here. Taking the time and the effort to build a good food source for your deer. Keep them around keep them wanting to live close to your hunting areas. And you know, when you get a good food plot and you're pulling stuff like this out of it, left and right and even bigger, it's just a matter of time before you're overwhelmed with deer and you end up with, with bucks like this. So very appreciative of this deer for giving its life and, and for the, the food it'll provide. Congratulations to Nathaniel on a great buck. We want to thank Buck Bribe and all of our partners for the role they play in the success we have here at Love the Grind TV and Homegrown Outfitters.